noisy, it's big, it's brash. It's the 2019 China Hunting Show. Let's have a look around and see what the stand holders are finding out about the Chinese. Over the years we've had three or four groups and um, we just thought it was a growing, growing potential market. How did they so, behave when they came? Yes, they were great. They were awesome. We're based in the central North Island of New Zealand and our main, the main animal you'll come to hunt with us is big red stags. So we have some of the biggest in the world. We've shot three world records at Broadview Hunting. We take them through the steps, we teach them to shoot the gun and we only let them, we only let them take the shots if we feel comfortable. Everybody came here basically with the thought of it could be a new market. Nobody knew what it had in store for any of us. I think it has a lot of potential. I think everybody thinks it has a lot of potential. The questions we're getting, I know, to everybody here, it's new. Uh, there's no aid coming from their side. We haven't seen it. Uh, so it's, for me, it's nice to see somebody not jumping to conclusion, to try and explain what we do, uh, the reason we do it. So um, we, it's, for me, it's positive. For me, it's great to be here and to, to explain to people why we do what we do. Of course, the organizer sees huge potential here. Uh, China hunting market is a new market, and more and more Chinese hunters they uh, go to Africa, other countries for hunting every year. And hunting, in our idea, hunting is a culture. So we have been developing this business over 10 years in whole whole the country. And right now, uh, after a couple of years, you know, uh, education to people, to let them know what is hunting, to let them know what is wildlife conservation. And until now, right now, more and more people come with us. So I think this is the best opportunity to operate, uh, to develop the show in China, to let more and more Chinese hunters be with us. The China Hunting Show is part of the Shanghai Lifestyle Show, which includes a food show, a boat show, a noisy fishing show, and this device for improving your badminton. One of the safari operators here has worked out how to leverage the Chinese interest in fishing. Put fish pictures on your stand, and that gives them a way in to talk about your animals. I, I didn't realize this before coming here, and, and seeing how big the fishing stands in this hall are, and how much uh, energy they put into it, I realize they really like fishing. Um, we do tiger fishing up in Namibia, um, so changed the stand a bit, added our, our uh, big pictures of the, of the tiger fishing, and uh, that's, we've got a few people that uh, seem interested in the fishing, so we'll follow up with them once we get back home, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. It's not just hunting. One of the great old stages of the world gun trade, Dexter Barnes, is here. He has a number of hats, and one of them is former coach to the Chinese Olympic trap team. A lot of people in shooting here are gearing up for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. China's prospects are looking quite good at this stage. We've got uh, men's trap qualifications, women's skeet qualifications. We haven't had men's trap. We've got women's trap as well, two, two in women's trap. And we haven't had that in the previous few last two Olympics. OK, we had them in in 2008 of course because we were a host nation here in, in Beijing so we've, they've also hired another foreign uh, a foreign coach uh, an Italian Italian man so he's helping helping greatly as well it, it seems he's helping simply because we've we've won the quota spots so it, it's looking very very prosperous for us as well as the popularity of trap shooting he Lee brother of organizer Jerry Lee wants to develop sporting clay shooting in China we got very good interest in this show, over six, seven shooting ground in China. They never saw English sporting, but they really, really have interest to, to take part in. Jerry, do you, do you agree with that? Do you see the show as Yes, a... I think it's very big potential to, uh, you know, uh, to create a market. Right now, I could, you know, Chinese hunting market is very new and very young. We need more and more experience to get uh, English sporting, uh, to get more training for Chinese hunters. And the other reason is uh, China, the government only uh, you know, allowed a shotgun for hunting. So that is why we developed this one. Back to the hunting part of the show, and anyone who thinks it is banned in China, well, have another think. It's thriving. Ramon Chang runs one of the many hunting clubs in China. 
Ah, uh, we are in China. We are a very big hunters club. Right. We got many members, and they are all entrepreneurs and those who like、uh, outdoor shooting and hunting. We are a very big hunters club. We got many members, and they are all entrepreneurs and those who like outdoor shooting and hunting. We are a very big hunters club. We got many members, and they are all entrepreneurs and those who like outdoor shooting and hunting. We are a very big hunters club. We got many members, and they are all entrepreneurs and those who like outdoor shooting and hunting. Uh, and for traveling and for hunting. Well, it's been an exhausting four days. I think what we're going to find out for next year is whether we continue down this hunting cultural road of standing in stands and handing over pieces of paper, or whether we go for the full Chinese menu option, which has got red, blue, green flashing lights and big salt stickers on everything. How would you like to serve up hunting in this Chinese restaurant?